Well, apparently off-grid living in wintertime is a growing trend here on social media, not just here on YouTube, but also across all platforms. There are a lot of content creators making videos and content about camping in camper vans in wintertime, sleeping in tents in the snow. There's all sorts of stuff here. I've just been doing a bit of research because I've just come back from Scotland and I'm thinking to myself, wouldn't it be nice to go to Scotland during the winter and see if I can find some of that Aurora Bora, you know, see the Northern Lights. Becky's always wanted to see that. I've always fancied it, but there's one thing that's held me back and that is the fear of running out of power. I know it sounds trivial, but just imagine if all the batteries in my camper van were to go flat in the middle of winter, in the middle of nowhere, I mean, it could potentially be life-threatening. And despite all the benefits that LiPo 4 batteries can offer and bring to the table, the one thing they can't do is handle cold weather. So when Bluetti got in touch with me and said to me, we've just developed a new type of portable power station that does not use lithium batteries and it can operate in minus 15 degrees or you can charge it in temperatures as low as minus 15 degrees centigrade and you can discharge it in temperatures as low as minus 25 degrees centigrade. I was like, my goodness me, I need to do some research into this. Now I've been online, I've done a bit of research Unbelievable, the specifications. So let me just go through this so you can see why I'm so excited. Right. right, so the Pioneer NAR debuts sodium iron technology for portable storage performing reliably even in extreme colds down to minus 25 degrees C. With a dual AC and, and PV charging, it charges from 80% in 35 minutes. And I've got to say, when this was delivered, it was down to, it was, I think it had 20% charge in it. I plugged it into the mains, and sure enough, within literally, I think about 40 minutes it took, it was at 100%. So yeah, super charge, <laughs> super charge, super fast charging. You can tell I'm excited, right? So the pure sine wave inverter can deliver 1,500 watts, with a peak output of 2,250 watts. We'll try that in a minute, because um, I haven't had lunch yet, so I'd like to cook myself some dinner. And it has a 900 watt hour sodium iron battery. Now here's the one thing, the downside from what I can see, sodium batteries do take up a lot more room per watt hour than LiPo 4 batteries. But the upside is they're a lot lighter. This is really light compared to some of the other Bluettis the same size, although they do have more power. So there's a bit of a payoff there. Um, to get the same watt hour battery capacity as a lithium LiPo 4 battery, the batteries do need to be bigger. So sodium batteries, although they're lighter, they need to be bigger to store the same amount of energy from what I can work out. But it's, it's still, I think the, the pros and the cons, the pros definitely outweigh the cons, especially when you think about the impact on the environment as well. I mean, yeah, that's, that's the thing that interests me anyway, the very fact that you don't have to have, um, or you don't have to use any rare earth metals to produce these. Literally, I mean, how much salt is there on the planet? It's probably one of the most abundant resources we've got. And carbon, well, everything is made of carbon, right? And iron, there's plenty of old iron <laughs> kicking around, I'm sure. So yeah, anyway, I'm going off on a tangent now. So this does have a built-in MPPT charge controller that can handle up to 500 watts of solar. Plus, you can plug it into the mains. And if you plug this into the mains and plug it into solar, it will charge from 0% right up to 80% in 35 minutes, apparently. But the key feature of this is that it can be charged at minus 15 degrees C, and it can deliver power down to a temperature of minus 25 degrees C. So I guess all that's left for me to do now is actually try it out. I've plugged in my laptop, I've charged my phone. Let's see how the pure sine wave inverter performs. See if I can cook my lunch using the, the, the new Bluetti P
pioneer NA or not. Well, as luck would have it, my partner Becky has left her air fryer in the van. And I've just had a look on the bottom of this and it's actually rated at 1550 watts, which is pretty much the limit of the Bluetti Pioneer NA. So I'm going to plug this in. I'm quite excited because let me just set this up so you can see we want to be able to see the screen don't we can you see the screen is that showing up in there yes right <laughs> the reason i'm excited is because regular viewers of mine will know i do love a fray bentos pie for those of you that don't know about fray bentos pies it's basically a pie in a tin quite disgusting I always keep a few of these kicking around just for emergencies and seeing as though this will be an emergency backup in the cold arctic conditions of North Scotland if I do decide to go I think this would be a fitting test so I'm going to try and see if I can cook a Frey Bentos pie using the new Bluetti Pioneer NA and this air fryer will be pulling maximum uh, wattage from it. Although it can take up to 2,250 watts peak, I think that's like, like for a surge, as it were. So let's pop this in there. It will take half an hour, but don't worry, I'm not going to make you sit and wait half hour i will edit this out i've just got to figure out how to work this out now temperature down we want it on 180 time that i'll do the time oh 30 minutes there you go air fryer yeah go right so there we go that'll be pulling full power in a minute let's take a look at the screen yeah i'm oh, 16 1600 watts obviously once it's up to temperature that will go down but it just shows that it is pulling 600 watts sorry about the noise so let's leave that for half an hour i'll get back to you and show you the end results see you in a minute i'm gonna put a kettle on now once my pie has finished cooking i do actually intend taking the bluetti Pioneer in a outside and plugging it into a solar panel. Unfortunately, the only solar panel I've got out there is a 400 watt solar panel, but nevertheless, we can still see how much power we can get to go into this using a 400 watt solar panel in the middle of October. Be interesting to see. Right, I'll be right back. Well, that's it, my pie is done. It's just beeped. Unfortunately, I missed it on camera. It's finished. It has taken 47% of the power of the Bluetti Pioneer NAR. So let's have a look. Oh, that is definitely cooked. Look at that. Right. Far too hot to eat right now. So I'm going to leave that to one side for a moment. Unplug the Bluetti. Let's take my phone off as well. Nearly put the phone on top of the air fryer. Don't do that, Mel. Um, let's turn this off we can oh yeah look it's just touch and it turns off none of this holding buttons down i like that i like that a lot but now it is wobbly because it's on the edge of the table there you go i've taken it off the table for those of you that are wondering why it's so unstable well right, let's take this outside plug it into the solar panel see how much we can charge this up whilst i eat my pie i'll see you outside but don't forget the power station no well isn't it typical now that the, i'm ready to charge this up a big cloud has come over i've gone right across the sun oh here we go so like i say it is october so it is going to be a bit cloudy it's going to be a bit hit and miss whether or not i can actually charge this up let's give it a go anyway let's see what happens so i'm going to unplug the blue it's inside the van Plug it into here. Straight away the screen lights up and we have right so we're managing to pull oh it just gone down it was 300 watts just now 
and it's gone down to 180 but when it was at 300 watts it said it was going to take an hour to charge which is pretty impressive here we go it's going back up now unfortunately there are some clouds in the sky I think we might be able to charge this quite quick with just that one 400 watt solar panel quite impressive so I'm just going to leave this now let it do its thing see how long it actually does take to charge up right I'm going to eat my pie well I'm pleased to say the Bluetti Pioneer NAR has charged to 100% and it only took three hours which isn't too bad considering it's October it is cloudy and I've only got a 400 watt solar panel and I'll just unplug this in case it's creating some kind of shadow on the screen and you can't see it but there you are it actually worked I'm really pleased with that. So if you are crazy enough to be considering going off on some wintry expedition and you're looking for reliable power source, why not check out the Bluetti Pioneer NAR? I will leave a link in the description of this video taking you directly to Bluetti's website. Unfortunately, I can't give you a price on this because it's not actually available right now, but it will be available from the 15th of October onwards. <laughs> So there you have it. Hopefully you found this video mildly entertaining, slightly informative. If you did, then don't forget to give Blue it a thumbs up and I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Until half an hour. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant.